Hello friends, welcome to House of Tech English. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to use Apple Intelligence writing tool in your Mac. Uh, I'm going to guide you through each and every step. But before that, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now, before getting started, let me tell you one thing which is very important. Make sure that your Mac is updated to Mac OS Sequoia because you can use Apple Intelligence only if you have Sequoia in your Mac. Now, currently you can see I have Mac OS Sequoia 15.5. And after that, if you have updated to Sequoia, then you can start using Apple Intelligence. Now, in today's video, I'm going to use Notes application to show the demo how you can use writing tool. So let's start with the first thing. Uh, suppose if you have written something and if you want to check out grammatical errors, then you can use Proofread, which is available in writing tool. First of all, uh, make sure to select the text. After selection, just go and select this uh, writing tool option over here on the top. And once you do that, you will get proofread option over here. So as soon as you tap on proofread, what it will do is it will scan the text completely. And within few seconds, it will highlight the changes it has made. So these were the mistakes. These were the grammatical errors, which it has corrected. So if you want to keep the change, you can select done option. But if you want to go back to the way it was, you can select revert option. So if I select revert, the mistakes are still going to be there. But if you want to correct it, use proofread. Now let's talk about the next feature, which is rewrite. You can simply change the tone of the written text. So again, select the text, go to writing tool and under rewrite, you can see there are multiple options. One is friendly, professional and concise. If you want to concise the whole article, you can select concise after selecting the text. And again, it will take few seconds. And after that, what it will do is if you have selected concise, then it will concise the whole article. Now you can see the article was big. Now it has concised it. So it will only include important information. But again, if you want to revert it, you can select revert option and it will go back to the way it was. Uh, let's ch check out other option, which is uh, if you want to change the tone uh, in a friendly way or professional way, you can do that. If you select friendly, basically, again, it will scan the text and it will change the tone of this text in a friendly way. So yeah, this is how uh, it has changed in a friendly tone. You can just play a video again and you can check out the difference. So this was friendly way. And if you want to go with professional way, again, you can select the text and select professional over here. Now, if you want to add some other tone, you can just simply select compose option over here. And in compose, what it will do is it will use chat GPT and I can write use angry tone over here and it will change the tone of this article in an angry way. So yeah, it has done the changes. You can check out if you want to. Now back to the original text, how it was. Now let's check out the other feature. Again, let's select the text. If you if you want to read some article, but you don't have time, uh, then all you can do is you can just simply select the article. You can again select writing tool and this time you can choose summary option. So what it will do is again, it will scan the text and it will provide you a summary of that article, which include uh, which will basically only include the important part. And now you can see I have selected the whole text and this is the summary for that. Also, if you want to replace it, you can do that. If you want to copy and paste it somewhere, you have that option as well. Apart from that, again, if I select the text, Let's check out other option. That is if you want to check out key points, you can select key points. If you want to convert this text in list form, you can do that. If you want to uh, change it into table after selection, you can just simply select table option over here. And then again, it will scan the text and then it will change it to table form. So yeah, there are multiple things you can do with writing tool. The interesting thing is let me uh, open new note over here. And instead of writing anything manually, you can just simply select writing tool over here and go to compose. And if I give a prompt over here that write an article on iPhone 16 and if I press enter, it will write an article with the help of chat GPT. So whichever prompt you give to a chat GPT based on that, you will get written text over here. So you don't have to type manually. You can use that compose feature whenever you want. So yeah, you can also compose messages. You can also compose mail if you want to and uh, whichever input you give based on that, it will basically generate it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.